Доброго дня, буна зіва, good afternoon. I just greeted you in Ukrainian and in Romanian as I'm standing here in Sigit at one of the main crossing borders between Romania and Ukraine. And actually, you could see Ukraine right there. And between Ukrainian and Romanian border, there is a bridge. On both sides of that bridge, there are toys for the Ukrainian children who are crossing the border. And every day, Romanian volunteers are bringing new toys to meet Ukrainian children. So now this corridor is empty because the flow of people depends on the curfew hours in Ukraine. That's now from 10 p.m. till 6 a.m. And also the train schedule. Around midday and at 2 p.m. there are more trains, so more people are coming here. The most vulnerable families with children, they cross the border by foot. And once they cross the border, they go straight to the Blue Dot Center. Blue Dot Center in Siget was the first one which was opened just at the beginning of outbreak of the war. Thousands of families with children have passed through this center and used the services. If the center was organized in cooperation with the local and national authorities and with a number of local NGOs, we are going to meet them in a minute. So the purpose of this center, and the center actually is, allows us to monitor the inflow of the Ukrainians, their needs, and provide the first immediate help once they cross the border, especially for the vulnerable children, families, children with disabilities, and unaccompanied children. So let me walk you through the center, step by step, as each family with child is following. So when they arrive, they go to psychosocial services. Then there are four points of registration, and each of these points offers the same services. Help and registration, accommodation, transport, uh, legal services and information. So they're registered whenever they arrive, then they are asked what, where, where they're traveling next, what type of transport they need, whether they need the train or the bus, or they need to stay here, so accommodation is offered either overnight or for long in time, as long as they need to stay here in order to travel to their final destination. So the schedule of trains and buses is updated every day, so families could find the best and the fastest way to get to their final destination. There is also a map of the transportation, which is free in Europe, and now you can see that the volunteer is helping one of the refugees to find the best transportation. We just saw one group of people who have just arrived and you can see they have entered and they went to the registration point where the accommodation and the transport will be offered to them. So this center has uh, three shifts, so people are always here of the volunteers representing national and local organizations. But let us ask some volunteers which organization they represent. Hello, I'm Yulia from UNICEF. Could you please represent yourself? Yes, my name is uh, Shimon Alin. I'm from uh, ACCP UMBN, Association ONG from uh, Biomar. Nice to meet you and you. My name is Dan. I'm the same organization with my friend. Nice to meet you. And my name is Yonela. I'm the same team with you guys. Great. So when your shift ends and when it started? Uh, today start at 2 o'clock yes. and uh, yeah. finish at 10 p.m. You're well, doing a great job. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. These are the local organizations, ASSOC, YMCA, ASMV, SMIS, ASMY, Coalition of NGOs from Maramures and Romanian Council for Refugees. After the shelling in Western Ukraine last week, Blue Dot Center has been extended and more tents were opened to meet the needs of the refugees. It was just opening and somebody took my hand, you know? So now we're in a child-friendly tent where families with children could rest. There is a changing table right there. They're waiting here for the buses or trains or volunteers to pick them up. Also families reunite in this tent. So let me introduce you to Despina, my colleague, who just witnessed very emotional family reunification. Please tell us a bit more. Hello, thank you very much. We met this afternoon in the Blue Dot, in the waiting area of the Blue Dot, a mother of five children, just crossing the border from Ukraine. We found out that actually she was quite anxious 
for her sister arrival who was supposed to to come this afternoon with her own five children so we had the privilege to to witness a very emotional moment to see the two sisters meeting this afternoon with their ten children so there were tears and laughs all together then we played we relaxed a bit and right now the local authorities found accommodation and transportation for them so they are in a safe space we were talking to the family with, with mother with two children and one of the, the smallest son had birthday today so we had a birthday celebration at the blue dots and yeah we hope they will be arrive to their final destination safely <laughs> it is late at night it has been a long day you could see the blue dot center is still open it is open 24 7 for all the families and children arriving from ukraine and they're ready to provide all necessary services. More Blue Dot centers will be opened in the different cities and countries along the migration road. And the main purpose of the Blue Dot centers is to ensure that all children are protected, are monitored, they're traced and they're safe at every step of their destination, particularly the most vulnerable children.